we'd mentioned Abinadi comes twice, right? Mm -hmm. And the first time, most of his message is, the way you're living doesn't work, you need to right. repent. I can see this destruction, these negative consequences ahead. The second time he comes back, when he's brought before these priests, they ask him about a scripture in Isaiah. They say, uh, this is in Mosiah 12, verses 20 and 21. What meaneth the words which are written and which have been taught by our fathers saying, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of them that bringeth good tidings and that publisheth peace. And I think they're kind of trying to get under his skin. They're saying, you always have bad news, right? <laughs> and aren't we, isn't the gospel good? Aren't you supposed to be saying good things? And he answers first, he's, he kind of rebukes them, mm -hmm. right? For, he says, you know better. You know better than to ask this question. But then in chapters, you know, 14 and 15, we get to this new core of Abinadi's message where he says, the good news is not that things are good now and that whatever you do is fine. The good news is no matter how bad it gets, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how isolated you are, and even if it's your own fault, salvation is coming. Christ is coming for you. And when he shares that message, when he stands as a witness for Christ, it touches the heart of one of those priests. <laughs>